Oh my god, look at the baby cow. Cows seem to be scared of Americans, I don't know why. Yeah, I just stepped on some cow crap. Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> So today's video is going to be uh, a requested video and the topic will be why do foreigners come to the Philippines? Oh god. So I just went through a mission. For some reason my battery was dead. But I my guy. It's the only guy really in my area that can charge a dead battery. Today is no movement day. It's like every Saturday, everything is closed. You can see the street is pretty much empty. There are no motorellas or jeepneys. It's a stressful day, a stressful morning. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Baby. I'm finally done with that mission, man. You know, sure enough, I checked the battery and uh, yeah, it was dead. So today's topic is why do foreigners come to the Philippines? Why do they live here? Why do they choose the Philippines to live? Sometimes it's a mystery to people that don't know the rat race and what they go through in their country. To break it down very simply to you, it's a very common thing from men from other countries to come here because of a woman. That, that's just the obvious. And if you look around, your average man that comes here that is a foreigner, he is probably about 35 to 55, maybe it averages about that. Men, for one, seek women here because they're good women. Uh, obviously they can get a very young woman, uh, someone that can be a good support to them. So that's the main reason, that's the most common reason, and obviously the things that come with this country. This country has a lot of benefits. I'm not saying that these, these men come only for women, because I know plenty of foreigners that are single, they don't even have girlfriends. You don't have to be with a woman to necessarily enjoy the Philippines, definitely not. People don't base their happiness on love, definitely not. They base their happiness on freedom. And that's another thing. Men come here because oftentimes they feel more free in this country than their own country. For example, I honestly, I feel more free in the Philippines than my own country. Right now, you got a lot of things going on in, in the U.S. They're just more free-spirited in this country. It's amazing to be here. See, another reason why, as I said, as you already may know, foreigners are watching this, if you're Filipino, you guys already know how beautiful and amazing and how many things this country offers as far as uh, scenery goes. And I mean, you know, you can come here and take a trip to Palawan and you're gonna be blown away. You're gonna be completely blown away. You're gonna spend something like $200 and, and get a complete package, vacation, boat, food, hotel. I mean, it's gonna be amazing and very, very cheap. And I've, I've done this too. I've been to places here and, and spend time in different islands. And you know, it's just the things here that you can see. It's sometimes it's breathtaking. You know, even millionaires, like to save money so that is a perk for anybody with any scale of income we'll just compare a beer a simple beer from the u.s and to here so a simple beer like let's say a heineken or a corona you can find for about between six to twelve dollars depending on where you're at that's already equating to like i don't know 500 pesos almost you know versus over here you can get it pretty much the, the, the beer for one dollar uh san miguel you know 50 pesos it's one dollar so you know a lot of foreigners come here and you know they want to live the retired life they might not necessarily be retired they might still be doing stuff online or trading or this kind of thing but when you're in this country you feel like you're retired you feel like you're away from the rat race you're away from the commotion in your life back in your country and you're getting all these things for a very very cheap price and you're around these people that you know it's just it's just different it's just a different vibe it's a very island vibe if you're in the province it's a very asianic city modern life if you're in like cebu semi-modern semi you know developing so you get the mix of both worlds another thing it is 
it is not uh, a secret that men come out here some men come out here just to play games right and this is for you guys and i want to warn you guys that do intend or have played games here in this country there are laws that forbid you from getting women and impregnating them and and having babies that you necessarily aren't being a dad and stepping up to take care of just a disclaimer if you're going to come here and play games with some women here don't do it i mean you're going to get yourself in a lot of trouble the jails here are by no means the place where you want to be and uh probably worse than the worst jail you know back in your place but pretty much you're going to come here 100 percent you're going to be an instant target for for a lot of women and not saying that they're after your money but you know they're just going to be curious they see a foreigner and maybe he looks handsome and you know some girls are with that some girls you know would would like to experience that do not come here and think you're going to play with a bunch of girls and get some girls pregnant and 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 leave the kids without you know without any parenting <laughs> obligations because you're going to find yourself in jail these people here in this country communicate with each other and you can be in a province and everybody knows your business so don't do that. I would never recommend you to do that. If you want to casually date, then that's something different. You know, you protect yourself because th there's still AIDS in this country. There's still a growing population of AIDS and STDs. So don't do that just for that reason, to protect yourself, to protect your life. Um, but definitely, you know, if you have a kid, you want to take care of that kid anyways, right? You don't want to have a, a bunch of baby mamas out there <laughs> spread out within the, within the country. So the next one is the acceptance of the broad age gap. So the acceptance of the broad age gap is something that you would definitely not see in another country like the United States or Canada. And if you did see it, then people will kind of frown upon that. You know, if you've seen a guy that's 65 with a 23 year old girl, you know, this kind of thing is uh, can be disturbing for some people to see. Everybody needs love, but you know, the point is that these guys have a very low chance of scoring a young woman as beautiful as they can get here in their country. And I mean, listen, who doesn't want to relive their youth once they're eight, once they're age 65 or 55? I understand you haven't had a young person for a long time. It's understandable. The acceptance of that age gap, it's, it's very, very deep rooted in this country for many many years there has there there have been guys coming from different countries as old as 70 and scoring a girl that's in her 20s to each his own whatever floats your boat the last one that i can say is a big benefit and why people uh choose to live in the philippines with all of the other asian countries like taiwan vietnam thailand indonesia and malaysia is that this country is a predominantly English speaking country. You can go to any other Asian country in this part of the world and you will have a hard time communicating with the locals. Well, there, they will be, there will be a very few people that can communicate with you on a fluency level, but for the most part, everybody seems to know some kind of English in this country, in the Philippines. And it seems to be very good for foreigners that are on vacation you know they don't have to struggle to find directions from here and here and um you know it, it's really nice because if you meet friends here you know they speak english that's a good thing um the people here love to meet new people especially foreigners so you can um you can meet some cool people and you know chances are they can become your friends um in the long term but the, the best benefit is if you're going out to the market and you need some assistance, you need some assistance so you can communicate with the locals. And I've experienced, uh, you know, I don't know, I've, I haven't experienced a lot of people that don't know English. Usually the people that don't know a lot of English are like younger, younger, younger boys, like younger teenagers. That's, that's my only. So that would be a very, very big benefit. That would be a very big benefit. Another thing is the cost of building a house and the cost of property, the cost of real estate in this country. It's steadily going up, but it, for the most part, it's very cheap. It's very cheap. And let's say, for example, somebody was offering me um, a lot for uh, 400,000 pesos. It was like, I don't know, close to, close to 35 or $4,000. It's some ridiculous amount. I mean, 4000 could be somebody's mortgage in the United States for their property, for their house. 
Um, and it was a house and an unfinished, uh, it was an unfinished house on a lot of like uh, 600 square meters. And that's on a, that's in the island of Kamigan, which the real estate is a little bit higher than other places. So undoubtedly, uh, it's undoubtedly known how cheap the building materials are here. So a lot of foreigners come here when they have a girlfriend or they have a wife and they come here and you know they want to relax and they want to settle here because of the laid back vibes and the laid back lifestyle so obviously they're going to want to build a house they're going to want to give something like that to their wife and you know uh, it's only right and um, obviously the building materials here are going to be very cheap you know the, the materials to start off a build to start off a foundation the rebar and the hollow block and you know all of this even the workers is um, pretty cheap to hire and the it's going to assure you that you can build something that's comfortable for a very good price so that would be another reason why guys choose here to live these are all reasons why you guys want to choose the Philippines to live to scout for women you guys already know you can check out my channel I talk about women sometimes and how how great they are and um, how you just gonna have a good experience here dating and um, and traveling within country so put together the scenery the beauty the climate the ability to communicate with the locals and the food you still got fast food and all the things that you can find in the u.s for the most part just put all that in a nutshell and tell me is there another country in asia that is better better no i mean i would say no definitely not i mean i can go on and on and on about why this this country is amazing and and you put that to the fact that these guys come here and choose the Philippines. So with that being said, guys, I'm gonna get out of here because I'm starving. I haven't eaten. You guys got me around here recording this video, and it's already one something in the afternoon. I haven't eaten breakfast, haven't even drinking coffee. So I'm gonna head out. I got some Jolly right in front of me. You can check it out. I got Jolly right in front of me, guys. So I'm gonna head out, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And if you're not subscribed, as always. We're growing, man. We're growing here. We're growing steady. You guys are liking, commenting, subscribing, and you're helping the channel out. But we need more help. We need more push. So if you could hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification because I drop content all the time. I'm trying to spread the word for the foreigners that don't know a lot about this country. Help them become acclimated and make their decision on coming here, visiting here, living here, finding a girl. So with that being said, let me get out of here, guys. Remember, I'm not Filipino. I just do Filipino things. See you guys later.